Kia ora. My name is Kachin, the storyteller, and today's story is all about an old, old, old woman. But she wasn't like me, Kore. Tino koihoro ia. She was very greedy. <laughs> oh, she was a little bit like me. Tino mohi o tono ia because she was very clever. And she never, ever went anywhere without taking her lunchbox. <laughs> what a good idea. I wonder what that old lady is going to have for her lunch. Whakarongo mai na. There was an old woman who swallowed a, a worm, a New Zealand native worm, as long as a rugby shoelace and it glows in the dark. There was an old woman who swallowed a worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. It made her squirm. <laughs> squirm with excitement. I wonder what else is in my lunchbox. Oh, yummy. There was an old woman who swallowed a snail. A giant native sail that sucks up, sucks up worm like spaghetti. There was an old woman who swallowed a snail. It left a silvery, slippery trail. She swallowed the snail to catch the worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. It made her squirm with excitement. <laughs> I need more lunch. Oh, looky here. There was an old woman who swallowed a, a frog, an Archie's frog who sat on a log. Come on, Archie, come on, come on. I just want to give you a little kiss. Come on, kiss, 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 with my teeth. Oh. She swallowed that frog to catch the snail. She swallowed the snail to catch the worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. It made her squirm, squirm, squirm like a worm. Oh, oh look what else is in my lunchbox. The world's heaviest insect. I hear wet a teeny. There was an old woman who swallowed a wetter. She swallowed the wetter to get herself better. Not. <laughs> she swallowed that wetter to catch the frog. She swallowed that frog to catch the snail. She swallowed that snail to catch the worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. It made her squirm, squirm, squirm like a worm. If you don't know how, it's time you did learn. Oh, learn how to eat up all your lunch. There was an old woman who swallowed a lizard. A jeweled gecko with no eyelids. They have to lick their eyeballs clean. She just opened her gizzard and swallowed that lizard. She swallowed the lizard to catch the wetter. She swallowed the wetter to catch the frog. Swallowed the frog to catch the snail. Swallowed the snail to catch the worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. Made her squirm, squirm, squirm like a worm. Ooh! I'm not squirming like a worm. I'm squirming like a hungry old lady and I need more lunch, more lunch, more. Oh, looky here. Kia, kia. The world's most intelligent parrot that lives high in the mountains and slides down to the sea on the snow. <laughs> Come on, little slide, slide a little further. Wee! Oh. There was an old woman who swallowed a kia, fiddle dee fear, that poor little kia. Oh, she swallowed the kia to catch the lizard. She swallowed the lizard to catch the frog. She swallowed the frog to catch the snail. Swallowed the snail to catch the worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. It made her squirm, squirm, squirm like a worm. Oh, don't forget the waiter. <laughs> oh, but don't forget her. I've got more lunch. Oh, something sweet to finish the meal. A sweet little seal. Oh, stinky fish breath. There was an old woman who swallowed a seal. Oh, 
How would it feel to swallow a seal? Very good, thank you. <laughs> she swallowed the seal to catch the keer. She swallowed the keer to catch the frog. She swallowed the frog to catch the lizard. Swallowed the lizard to catch the wetter. <gasps> the wetter to catch the snail. Swallowed the snail to catch the worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. It made her squirm. <gasps> Oh, look at my poor canoe. <laughs> I really shouldn't have any more to eat, but I shall. <laughs> Just one little snack. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there was an old woman who swallowed a whale. Tohora nui tene. Her face went pale when she swallowed that whale. Come on, come on. Uh, um, 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 um. Oh, oh, <sighs> she swallowed the whale to catch all the other things and the worm that wiggled and jiggled and tossed and turned it made her squirm. Oh, what a lovely lunch. But you know what? Just one, one little thing more. Oh, yes. And this really was very little. There was an old woman who swallowed a, a weevil, a flax weevil. She swallowed a weevil, but that wee little weevil made her puku, her stomach feel evil. Oh, and this enormous old woman lay down on the couch and she let out her biggest, burpiest belch. And out came the snail doing yoga. <laughs> out came the Oh, frog, Atchie's frog. Out came the... <gasps> Kia, Kia, fly back home to the mountains, Kia, where you're safe. Out came the... Hehatene? Wetter. That's right, don't forget the wetter. Out came the... <gasps> There's something else in there. Oh, can you guess what this is going to be? I... Kirawera, Tohora Nui, the big whale. Out came the whale. Out came the seal. Where are you? <gasps> out came the seal. Out came the lizard. And out came the worm. That wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned. It made her squirm. And that enormous old woman, she tamed her sore tum with a nice cup of tea and a biscuit. Yum, yum. And then she turned and whispered to me, All of those creatures now, where could they be? And I know exactly where they could be. They could be inside this book, which is all about all the wonderful creatures in Aotearoa. But I don't think we should go around eating them, do you? We've just been listening to a story about the old woman that swallowed the worm all the way up to the great big whale. Sign language, whale. And so I'd like to celebrate New Zealand Music Week, by Music Month rather, by singing a song by a New Zealand songwriter, Hirani Melbourne, a wonderful songwriter. And this is a song all about the big tohora. Tohora nui, tohora roa, tohora tino moho mona, tohora pua, pua fiore piu piu e, tohora koro tite moane, tohora koro tite moane, the whale is big. The whale is long, the whale is very fat and strong. The whale is spouting, spouting and dancing free, swimming in the deep blue sea. The Tohora Nui, Tohora Roa, Tohora Tino Mohomona, Tohora Pua Pua Fiore Piu Piu E, Tohora Koro Titi Moana E. And in that story, there was also the tiniest of little worms. And Hirani, he wrote a song about worms as well. Okorongo mai na. 
Nicky Nucky no, call Nicky Nucky no. Call the Oku Wai Wai me now who. I'm a little wiggly worm wiggling all day through. I haven't got any legs, so I don't need no shoes. And the next story is all about Nucky Nucky worms. Kia ora, Kate and the storyteller. And I've got a story all about a little boy who loved to play tricks. And it's in this CD here called Worms in the Pot. Oh, you remember the old woman who <laughs> swallowed the worm that wriggled and jiggled and tossed and turned? Well, this is kind of a different story. And this comes all the way from my head. <laughs> and it starts off with a song about a worm by Hirani Melbourne. Nicky nocky no ku, Nicky nocky no, Kore oku wai wai, me nao hu. I'm a little wiggly worm wiggling all day through. I haven't got any legs, so I don't need no shoes. Did you ever see a worm wearing shoes? Me neither. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Nicky, but everyone called him Tricky Nicky because he was always playing tricks. And one day, Tricky Nicky was out in the garden digging to see if he could ever find a worm that was wearing shoes. Maybe. <laughs> and he was out digging that garden. Dig, dig, dig that garden. Gonna dig down deep. I'm gonna dig, dig, dig that garden. Dig down deep. He stopped digging. Oh, because there, on the end of a spade was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fat, regularly jiggly, squirmily, twirmily worms. <laughs> and Nicky looked at those wriggling worms and he thought, you know, if I washed the dirt off and covered them with tomato sauce, they wouldn't look like worms. They'd look like spaghetti and I can play a trick on my sister and that's just what he did he took the worms washed them off put them into a pot covered them with tomato sauce and then he called for a sister whose name was Marion 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 lunch time and Marion came running and she said oh what's for lunch oh spaghetti I love spaghetti yum and she took a big fork full of that spaghetti and she was just going to put it in her mouth when that's not spaghetti that's worms worms in the pot worms in the pot I'd rather not eat worms in the pot hey Nikki let's give them to mum and that's just what they did they got a plate, made some toast, covered the toast with all the spaghetti worms and they called for their mum whose name was Mum. <laughs> mum, mum, lunch time. <gasps> and mum came wheeling in, she was in a wheelchair. Mum came wheeling in and said, oh, you darling children, how delightful. Spaghetti on toast, my favourite. And she took a big fork and she really did put it right in her mouth. She took a big fork and went, <coughs> uh, Worms on my plate, worms on my plate. One thing I hate is worms on my plate. Hey, let's give them to Grandma. And that's just what they did now. They lived with their Grandma who was one, two, Miss a few, 99, 100 years old. And she loved to eat pudding. And when you're 100, you can eat what you like. So what they did was they got a bowl and they filled it up with ice cream and then they put all the worms over the top and they called for Grandma, Grandma, lunch, uh, pudding time. Pudding? Pudding. Grandma could always heard best when you said the word pudding. And she came racing in and, oh, ice cream. Yummy. With a delicious new sauce. How delicious. How delightful. How de <laughs> disgusting. Worms in my bowl. Worms in my bowl upon my soul. I ain't going to eat no worms in my bowl. Hey. Let's give them to the dog. What a tricky family. So they took the worms out of the bowl and put them in the dog's pan and they called for the dog whose name was 
Dog, dog. <laughs> dog, dog. Dog, dog. Lunch time. Dog, dog came running and <laughs> what's for lunch? What's for? Oh, stinky dog food. Yummy. And he stuck his muzzle right into their pan and he snaffled up the worms. <gasps> oh. Worms in my pan, Blech. worms in my pan, Blech. I don't think I can eat worms in my pan. I'm going to give them to that pesky old cat. And that's just what the dog did. He tipped the worms from his pan into the cat's dish and called for the cat like this. Here, puss, 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 puss. Here, puss, 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 puss. <gasps> and when the cat heard that, she came running in. But at the last minute, she slowed down because cats are cool. And... She slowly walked up to the to her, her dish and she looked in. Oh, look, mouse tails in a sauce. What a wonderful idea. And she put her pretty pink mouth right into those worms. Meow! Worms in my dish! Worms in my dish! I do not wish to eat worms in my dish. And with that, she picked up the dish and she took it outside and she threw it all over the lawn. Just then, who was flying past? Ah, oh, Titiro Maina, look at that, little black robin. And when little black robin saw those worms, she dove down. And she didn't say anything because, well, you know, it's a little bit rude to talk when your mouth or your beak is full. And her beak was full of tai roa. Ten fat, wriggly, nooky, wriggly worms. And when she'd finished eating, she leant back and she said, Oh, Tino, bite, koi, yum, yum, worms in my tum. And she flew, she flew up to Tirako, the tree. And she told the story to the tree. The tree told the story to Taho, the wind. And the wind told the story to me. The story of worms in the pot. So next time you eat spaghetti, you have to think, is it really spaghetti or could it be worms? Niki noki no ko, niki noki no. Kore o ko wai wai me na ho. Thank you for listening to the story of worms in the pot. And you can find that CD in the library or you could even write to me, Katrin. The Storyteller. Kia ora koutou. It's Kachin the Storyteller here. But I'm not on my own. You might be able to see. Oh, look. Here she comes. Angela, my very good friend. Kia ora, Angela. Mwah. Oh, it's always nice to have a fish kiss. Kiti pihi koi. How are you? <gasps> Tino horiko oho. I am so happy. Well, why are you so happy? Because... I can see all those little fish out there. Kara, hello, little fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those aren't little fish, Angela. Those are people. There's children and grown ups. Those are people. What makes you say they look like they're, they're fish? Well, they look like fish. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? They've got great big eyes, beautiful smiles. Well, that's true. And look, they've got little fins. Wave your fins, wave your fins. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Those aren't fins. Those are hands. Look, there's probably some people out there who can't even swim. I can't swim. What? No. I'm a land fish and I only go on the sea in my little boat and I sing songs. Can I sing a song? 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 Can... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you can sing one song, Angela, but it has to be polite because actually her real name is Angela Pottymouth and she's known for singing rather rude songs. No, not at all. <gasps> row, row, row your boat right across the puddle. Put your undies on your head because life is such a muddle. <laughs> oh, Angela, you muddled up all the words. Now sing the song without the undies in it. Row, row, row your boat right across the sea. Keep your mouth shut when you swim. Mm. Why should I keep my mouth shut when I swim? Because where do fishes pee? Oh, yes, good point. I will keep my mouth shut when I swim. But look, I think you better sing us the proper song. Uh, sorry, can't do that. 
Well, why not? Because, actually, I don't know the words. You don't know the words to row your boat? No, 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 no. Well, look, Angela, if you sit very still, like a good landfish, then I will teach you the words to row your boat. And if any of you out there know the words, you could sing along too. Toru fa. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <gasps> Let's do it again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Faster! Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <gasps> I think that's probably enough times. Do you think you learned at that time? Oh, yes, I remember the words now. All right, let's see if you were listening. You sing it back to me. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Very good. If you see a puppet show, don't forget to scream. Ah! What? That wasn't the words at all. Well... I thought you said there was something about a puppet show and I thought I'd just put that into the song. But <clears throat> actually, what do you mean a puppet show? I don't know. I thought it must be you. Do you think I'm the puppet? That's right. No, 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 no. There is a puppet show, Angela, but you are the puppet. Me? Me? Little old me? I don't think so. I think you are the puppet. Me, a puppet? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 no. I think we better have this argument in private. Kakite.